Welcome back to the news. The Philippine economy strongly recovered in the second quarter this year to 11.8%, mainly driven by base effects and a better balance between addressing the impacts of the coronavirus and the need to restore jobs and incomes for Filipinos. Socioeconomic Planning Secretary Carl Kendrick Chua warned the hopes for continuous positive growth could be erased by the current two-week lockdown in the national capital region, which accounts for a third of the economy and other areas aimed at slowing the spread of the hyper-contagious Delta variant. Take a look. We are pleased to report that the Philippine economy strongly recovered in the second quarter of 2021. The robust performance is driven by more than just base effects. It is the result of a better balance between addressing COVID-19 and the need to restore jobs and incomes of the people. As reported by the Philippine Statistics Authority today, Philippine economic growth accelerated in the second quarter of 2021 to 11.8% from minus 17% in the same period last year. This is the highest GDP growth recorded since the fourth quarter of 1988. Prospects for a strong economic recovery in 2021 remains promising, although there are speed bumps given the ECQ in Metro Manila and other parts of the country. We are now better equipped to sustain continuous positive growth. So with the second quarter results, uh, they are um, going to help us achieve our target for the year. However, it also depends on the outcome of this uh, present ECQ. If we are able to uh, manage the risk and everyone cooperates and adheres to the health protocol, then we will be able to lift the ECQ sooner. On the other hand, uh, if uh, we do not comply, then it is possible that the ECQ will be longer. It also depends on how long the ECQ will be. So we have to all cooperate uh, with each other, uh, take the opportunity to get vaccinated because once we vaccinate more and more people, then uh, we can reopen the economy uh, more safely. We are also cognizant of the fact that our ECQ today is more managed. Uh, unlike last year, we did not shut down public transport. Most sectors can operate. Uh, workers are exempted from curfew. So these are important indication that we are learning to live with the virus and can help mitigate uh, the downside risk for the second half. Thank you.